Hi everybody, so what I'm going to do here is just give a brief walkthrough of the RStudio environment. Uh, when you open up RStudio, this is what you get. Uh, just kind of a blank, a set of blank white screens. It's a little intimidating at first, but it's really quite simple. Down here is where we'll, where we'll type things, telling it what to do. This is just nonsense. It'll give us an error, because this doesn't make any sense. That's all there is to it. Once we start saying things that make sense, it'll start doing what we want it to do. That's where we do, this is this window is called the console, where we type in what we want R to do. Uh, up in the top right hand corner here, uh, we have the workspace, which gives which will give us a kind of uh, rundown of the files that we've imported, and kind of the, the basic, uh, you know, units of, of analysis that we are generating throughout our uh, work in R. The history panel gives us uh, exactly what it sounds like, a, a list of everything that we've made R do in the past. So this is my own history, stuff I've been doing previously. Down here, we have a list of all the files uh, in the folder that we use. So this is all the stuff that I've been using in, in my time. Uh, yours will be different. This is where R will generate plots when we, when we have R do graphical analysis. It will come up here in a nice little window. The Packages tab uh, organizes all of the different packages that R has available and that, and that we will be downloading um, you know, to do different kinds of things. And help, this is, this is very important to always refer to. The help files are very comprehensive. And in this tab, you can, you can use this little search bar um, to search any number of different things. Um, yeah, we'll be using all different kinds of packages and you can search for them in here. And, and, and in particular, the functions within packages that you'll need help kind of remembering how to use. So that's basically it. The simple application of just R by itself does everything that R Studio does. It's just in a less integrated environment. So for instance, when you have R generate graphs, it will just pop up in a, in a sort of random disconnected window Whereas in our studio, it's all um, kind of kept tidy and organized for you. For instance, when it pops up in the plots uh, full, uh, tab down here. Same thing with the history and the workspace. And it also gives you some added um, functionality in the, in the graphical user interface up here. So to jump right in, I've prepared some data and the code required to analyze the data to do some simple uh, and basic data analysis. We can find that on my website on this page called How to Generate Summary Statistics and Box Violin Plots in R. Uh, so one of the cool things about R is that there's a lot of code already floating around out there that allows you to do exactly what you want to do. And often the amount of work or the amount of coding that you actually have to do yourself is often very, very slim. Uh, so this is an example of that. Here's, here's some basic code to, to do things right away. Uh, all we have to do is copy, copy and paste this. Uh, for this code snippet, you just have to click this um, little symbol for copying it to the clipboard. And then we go to RStudio. And what we want to do now is in the top left corner, we see this little piece of paper with a plus sign on it. We want to click that and choose R script. This is to open it, open a new file to create an R script. So we do that, and this window pops up in the top left, and it's just basically a text file, a kind of open text editor window, and we can just go ahead and paste the code that we just copied from my website. Okay, and it gives us it gives us everything that we just copied. Um, you'll see that the uh, all the code that I post to my website is annotated, so you know what's going on. Uh, the annotations are to the right of these number signs. That just tells R not to read that as code, but just as uh, simple text. Or notes, really, that, that don't have anything to do with the, the programming. So, one of the things we see is that we can just run this whole file. We can select the whole thing, hit run, And it takes a little bit. But it just runs through everything. You don't even need to know what's going on. There it goes.
shows, generating statistics. And voila, the uh, final graphics that we generate in, in this code. But this is not instructive for you uh, because what you're interested in is learning what you're able to do using what kind of using different kinds of code. So, uh, so what we're going to do is uh, actually just clear the workspace. We'll go up here to clear all, and it asks us if we're sure. We say yes, and then we'll clear this graph and clear all. Yes, we're sure. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is just briefly walk you through each one of the lines of this code to give you a quick kind of uh, summary of what's going on. So in this first uh, chunk of code, we just install and load some useful packages. Again, R basically runs on, on user-written packages that give it all different kinds of functionality. So these are just some simple packages that we're interested in. One is called utils. Uh, so we're going to install it with this line and then load it with this line. One way you can uh, run a selection in the, in the R script is by uh, command enter, hitting command and enter at the same time, and that will run just the selection. So that's what I'll do. Okay, then we're going to install the hmisc package. We're going to install it and then load it. You can hit run up here also after selecting it. And you see in the console, it gives you um, a summary of everything it's doing. And we'll do the same thing for the W bio plot. This will be the package for running uh, the violin plots. Okay. Then we'll do this past X package. Okay, and you get the idea on this. Great, so next what we have to do is we have to read data to R. One of the cool things about R is that you can actually import data straight from the internet. You don't even need to download it. So one of the data sets that we've been working with from the general social survey, I've made available on my, on my Dropbox account publicly. So we can download it into R straight off the internet. You don't even need to download anything. That's all contained in this line right here, where we basically just tell it to read this table read the table of the spreadsheet that I've made public on the internet, call it GSS, run a selection, okay, and then we see in the workspace that a frame called GSS has appeared with 53,000 observations and 20 variables. If we click this, we get to take a quick look at it. Here's the actual spreadsheet. It's only displaying a thousand rows. It's fifty, you know, fifty thousand rows is a whole lot. So we can leave that open if we want. Next, uh, we want to be able to know what all of these different variables are. If you look back in this, we see that there are a bunch of different variables with interesting names up here, but we don't know exactly what they mean. So to be more specific, we want to download the text file that we can also download from from the internet with this with this function of download.file. Go ahead and run selection. And that puts it right into the working directory that you've chosen. Uh, yeah. So we can also open that up in this, in this uh, top left area of RStudio by opening this up by clicking this folder with the green arrow coming out of it to open a file. Taking a minute. Okay. My working directory is uh... okay, and look, so here it is. This is where it was downloaded to. So we can open that right up, and R will, R Studio will even hold it for us 
right here. So this is the text file containing all of the variables and a detailed specific summary of, of what's going on in the variables. The question that generated the variables for, for the respondents and exactly how it was recorded. So we can refer back to this to be as specific and rigorous as possible. Okay, cool. So that's, this is all contained up in this top left area and we can already begin to see how this is uh, significantly more convenient to deal with than the simple standalone R package. Okay, so we'll keep going down this R code. Now what we're going to do is just uh, quickly list all the contents. Again, to, to run the selection, to run this, the selected highlighted part of the code, I'm just hitting Command Enter. Okay, and here we see down here we get a list of the variable names and we can refer back to the code book to see what those variables are. We can just search for them by name if we want or just scroll and browse. Now let's run some some basic descriptive statistics. This is the function stat.desk for statistics describe. And we can just select all these and hit run selection or command enter. And we see down here we get uh, a a summary of basic descriptive statistics for each of these three variables. And you can refer to the to the code book if you want to know more about what exactly this what exactly those variables represent. Next what we'll do is just generate some box plots to uh, b compare the distributions of these variables. We can select this whole chunk of code because this is basically just three different box plots. Okay, and we see that the graph of the box plots appears in this bottom right corner in this plots tab. If we had the help file open or something else open, we might, it might not show up automatically, but here, here, here it appears under the plots. What we can do uh, before we move on to generate other graphics is export. Very simply, you go to export and then save plot as image. and then it assumes that you want to save to your working directory and we can just call this box plot or whatever and save it as a PNG file. So it's very simple to export graphics. So you can upload them to the internet later or email them to each other, do whatever you want. Finally, instead of box plots, we'll do the slightly more sophisticated uh, violin plot by selecting this chunk of code. Go to run. And now we have uh, this, this nice set of uh, violin plots describing the respondents, um, the importance attributed to work, relaxation, and politics. And so that's basically it. Uh, that's a basic rundown of what RStudio looks like and how to run some basic uh, statistical analyses in R. And once you are able to work through the code, um, this code that I've supplied you allows you to download download data, download the codebook of the data, and it gives you all the code necessary for doing some basic analysis. You didn't even have to you didn't have to know how to do anything to be able to do what I just walked you through. But in doing this, you're going to be learning how to do it yourself. So what I would encourage you to do at the end of these code tutorials that I that I'm giving you is to just explore the data on your own, taking what I've shown you how to do. So for instance, we might want to just explore different variables. Um, if we do, if we type ls, and then the name of our data frame, gss, in parentheses, down in the console, this gives us a list of variables. So we know how to make box plots, and we know how to make violin plots. Maybe we want to do one with a different variable. For instance, sei down here is the socioeconomic index. Uh, which is a kind of composite index describing the respondent's socioeconomic status. So we can just we'll copy and paste this code for generating violin plot, paste it in the con into the console, and then we'll just change this one variable name in Paul to SEI and change this to SEI and hit enter. And here we see we have it in the far right corner.